Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unusual Findings, where I can't really remember what we were doing, <laughs> because it's been quite a few days since I recorded anything. We actually just recently got a puppy, so all of my attention's been on that, and we're obviously not sleeping very well at night, because the puppy's up every few hours to go to the toilet. Um, so I think, if I remember correctly, we were looking for some things that were once in the treehouse, and one of these guys took it to their house, and that is literally all I can remember. Um, and also, we're just exploring town, I think, aren't we? It's Tony's garage. It's full of his science projects. We spoke to that guy with and the... And his grandma's old car. All right, well, if we need a car, we know where to look. Can we open this? It's closed. Okay, no, it's closed. Uh, okay, there's a front door. Tony's front door has a Christmas wreath up. Can we go in here? This thing's zip tied to the knocker. Are you trying to steal our wreath? No. It's... No. <laughs> to be honest, I was trying to open the door. <laughs> this thing's zip tied to the knocker. Oh. Are you trying to steal our wreath? No. It, it doesn't look like we can actually go in there then. So I guess it's not his house. I think your grandma is watching a soap opera. Oh yeah, she likes Malcolm Crest. <laughs> Malcolm Crest sucks. <laughs> You should tell her to watch Maria Maria and the Marias. You watch soap operas? No, <laughs> my mom does. Sure, sure. Oh, nice little lights here. All right, so it's not his house. Um, so that's where we were, right? So we've got Vinny's Street. Was it Nick who took the things? It must be, because our house is the one with the, um, the tree house, right? So it's it's got to be... Can we look in the hedges? Why are we going back there? The hedge is too thick to find something in without knowing where you should be looking. Ah, but that could mean there is something in there, right? Well, obviously you might need to know what it is we're looking for. So this is Nick's house. Oh, we can go into Nick's house, okay. Hey, look at this. It's Nick's family. In the picture, Nick's with his brothers, Billy, Tom, and Kevin, his sister, Diane, his mom, and his dad, who's sporting a totally convincing blonde toupee. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's Kevin. That's Kevin, the smallest of the Guerreros. He likes anarchy way too much for his age. The world building in this is very good, isn't it? Talk to Kevin. Hello. Hi, guys. Why are you just sitting there? Why are you just sitting there? Waiting for my turn to use the telephone. This week's rotation to use the phone is Mom, Diane, Dad, Nick, Diane, Billy, Tom, Diane, Diane, and me. <laughs> so I'm next in line. Why so many Dianes? Is that not unfair? It used to be just Diane. Believe me, it's much better now. <laughs> The old days before mobile telephones. Why do you want to use the telephone? I want to enjoy the delights of spontaneous comedy. <laughs> what does he mean? Prank called him. He wants to make some prank calls. Yeah, there we go. He takes this so seriously. He'll spend hours calling the same number. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you planning to call? Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the oh, funeral God. home, and the cemetery. Maybe don't do This that. week has been all about dark humor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Ooh, okay, we might be able to utilize that then. Have you seen anything unusual? Have you seen anything unusual tonight? The hamster was already dead when I arrived. Oh, God. What? Nothing! Oh, God, this kid is a terror. All right, goodbye. goodbye. Bye, guys. All right, Diane, I'm guessing, is not going to speak to us. Hello! I'm trying to talk here. No, a friend of my brother. Yeah. No, the one that looks like a lizard. A lizard? Hey, I'm still here. We don't look like a lizard. I'm on the phone. I thought I was the one who looked like a lizard. <laughs> uh, have you seen anything unusual? Have you seen anything unusual tonight? You also heard about that? 
Yeah. Raul is dating Mary. No, not that. But she doesn't know he was with his sister last week. Wow. But Mary made out with Raul's brother that same day. Everyone is talking about that. We were asking you about an alien. Sounds like drama. Well, maybe Raul's family's from Argentina, but it's still impolite to refer to people like that. <laughs> oh, forget about it. It's not what we were saying. May I use the phone? I can guess what the answer to this is going to be. May I use the phone? No way. But Diane, it's something important. Uh, no freaking way. Wait your turn. Like Kevin. Fine. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? None of your business. It's Rebecca Watterson, right? Tell her I said hi. <sighs> My brother says hi. Someone's got a crush? No. Nick. Mm, she asked me to tell you to stop stalking her. I don't stalk her. I have a friend that lives near her house. What friend? Um, Willie... Wilson? <laughs> That's like the worst made up name it ever. It is. All right, bye. Goodbye. All right, so can we look in here? The Guerreros aren't known for their good taste. Okay, can we open it up? Nothing interesting inside these drawers. I like the way the lights change. That's good. Can we grab the toilet? It's the Guerrero's guest bathroom. I mean, aren't you? I gotta give them credit. Even though they like to be frugal and buy cheaper stuff. There could be something useful. They use some top-notch toilet paper. Yeah, you gotta use good quality toilet paper. There are paper. some things you can't cheap out on. Yeah. You only live once, you know. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. The door's locked. Oh, someone must be in there. Hey! Do you mind knocking first? <laughs> Pink Christmas tree, wow. It's a pink Christmas tree. Why would you have a pink Christmas tree? It was cheaper. Plus, Christmas trees are a pagan tradition. If you're gonna piss off God, you may as well save some money in the process. Uh, he's right, surprisingly. Something we all agree on. Well, as in these guys here. Um, I'm not in the uh, business of pissing people off, but there we go. Uh, wait, ooh, wait, hang on, we can go in the kitchen. Let's go there first and then we'll go up. I'm trying to bake a cake in here. Let's not go in the kitchen. <laughs> Mum's friendly then. <laughs> but then again, with four kids, it's probably chaos. Especially with this one. Oh, this is the wrong house. This is our house, is it? Alright, so... Is he blind? <laughs> no, he's watching his Ben-Hur VHS Ben-Hur. When he's in that mood, he can't focus on anything else. Ben Hur. That always used to be on TV on a Sunday afternoon when I was growing up. Um, and it's like four hours long, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's a great movie, but it's it's like never ending. Watch it for like ever and ever. Can we have a look through here? It's just garbage, man. Believe me. If we throw something out, it's useless. So it is his house. I mean, I thought we were supposed to get something from here. I'm not sure where it would be. So there's the rub at the bum. Um, I, I, I thought we were looking for something, but maybe we got it? I'll tell you what, let's check out this place. This looks like shady government organization, right? New Frontier Corps. It's the New Frontier sign. They established a facility here and in North Forest a few years ago. My dad says they never hire anyone from town. Jerks. I suppose they require qualified human resources. No, I think these guys are obviously doing some sort of thing which involves whatever was in the woods. Um, we can read the sign, I don't know why we would want to do that. I'm also wondering if the um, the guy we saw in the woods who got impaled by the alien looking thing is from here and he was going to investigate the crash site. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy, he's got a the gun. The gate guard seems friendly. For someone walking around with a rifle on his chest. Yeah. Does he want to talk? Grab the guard. That seems like a colossally bad idea. Hi. Hello. Oh, he's actually not too bad. Um, did you see anything unusual? Did you see anything unusual tonight? Like what? Like an alien. <laughs> Don't be silly, kids. Aliens. All right, um, what is this facility all about? What is this facility all about? Telecommunications. 
Someone told me that some of the most prolific scientists from all over the world are working here, mm. developing what will be the future of communications. I heard they are making phones so small that they can fit in your pocket. That'll never catch them. Awesome! Him. He's messing with you. I've seen cellular phones. They don't fit a pocket, unless you've got huge pockets. <laughs> but if only they knew. Um, so maybe they've been doing like some sort of communications experimentation that, like, I don't know, caused that interference or whatever on the TV, and it seems like maybe lured a spaceship down here. Maybe they're trying to communicate with aliens. Uh, may we enter? Let's guess what he's going to say to this. May we enter? No. Authorized personnel only. Fine. But what if we bring an authorized ID? I will know that it's fake. <laughs> Look, security here is no joke. There are no kids allowed. Not even I can enter the facility. And I've been working here for three months already. Wow. All right. Uh, why is New Frontier always so heavily guarded? Why is New Frontier always so heavily guarded? Have you heard of industrial espionage? Yep. No. It's when a company spies in another company to gain access to its secrets and technology. Exactly. And New Frontier is all about technology. I heard that the Soviets are particularly interested in getting their hands on the New Frontier's prototypes. How paranoid. <laughs> Very paranoid. Should we say this? We saw a creature in the woods! Kids nowadays are such chickens. In my time... Hey! Don't you ever call me chicken again! Wow. Calm down, boy. You should grow thicker skin. No one tells me what to do! Uh, I mean... <laughs> Ah, uh, you remind me of myself when I was your age. I agree with you. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Aren't you telling him what to do in the exact same sentence? Hmm. <laughs> no? This kid's a sassy. Alright, bye. Goodbye. Good night, kids. Head home now. It's late. Uh, something tells me this won't be the last time we're here. Let's look at this guardhouse. It seems like there are more guards inside the guardhouse. Oh, wow, okay. Getting through the entrance is impossible for trespassers. So... Unless the trespassers had a tank, then they could do whatever they want. Poison gas would do the trick, and it's way less noisy. <laughs> Just saying. I'm guessing if we're going to get in here, we're going to do it with some sort of, like, thing to cut through the fences. Um, waste container. The waste container is suspiciously clean. Mm. Not even a banana peel. Almost like they don't put anything in there. There's nothing in there. Literally nothing. Okay. An unwelcoming sign. I always thought the security in this place was kind of exaggerated. You should check out the new Frontier North Forest facility. It has way more security than this place. Alright, well. Let's head to somewhere else. Uh, so we've got the bridge. We haven't been to the bridge. We haven't been to Earl's Farm or Lover's Lane. We've got to go somewhere and get these things that were missing from the treehouse. So the treehouse is here, Vinny's Street, right? We've been to Tony's, we've been to Nick's. I'm sure it was Nick's. But anyway, let's try the bridge. Oh, it's like all blocked off. It's a van. It's a Renault Master 1980. These originally launched with the 2.5 liter Fiat Sofim diesel engine. You remember that, but you can't remember to wipe your feet when you enter someone's home? Unbelievable. <laughs> can we do anything here? We can walk around it. I can't do that with the owner around. Besides, I don't know how to drive. Uh. I do. Um, should I state that being chased by the police would not help us capture the alien? Okay, fine. <laughs> City repair, you broke it, we fix it. Does that say fix? Because it looks like it could be FCK. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? It's an extension cord. The cable is secured to the van with a plastic security seal. Okay, so we might have to cut that to get hold of something. What is going on? Welcome to South Plains. It's the town welcome sign. With a message that only exacerbates the rivalry between us and North Forest. <laughs> the disagreement between South Plains and North Forest dates from the very founding of these towns. 
but why all the hate? Apparently, they both declared themselves the friendliest town on Earth at the same time. <laughs> of course. Really? That's all? Well, that escalated into a very serious vendetta and a series of killings that decimated both towns' populations. Oh, so that's how it all started. Indeed. I'd like to tell you more about our town history, but in the 19th century, the official records were vandalized and all of the pages were changed to North Forest Rules, jerks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll speak to Carl here in the next one, but we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossie the Sheep, and Jonathan Conley. And I'll see you next time.